even now that you are working in media that th- you see other media members that they don't quite get because they're not in the building 24 seven and they're not in the practices and stuff like that. Good question. I think. Hmm, I, I would say the biggest thing I've seen is there's a lot of people that try to talk about football, but don't really understand it from a deep level. And football is such a complex game, right? You got so many different schemes, so many different personnel groupings and rules and players and play styles by different types of athletes and so many things go into it. And I don't even know the game as well as, you know, coaches do or like, I haven't like, but I know it pretty well where I know what's going on and can tell what schemes are try- what teams are trying to do schematically and things like th- things like that. There's a lot of, a lot of media members who don't know scheme, but the reality is that's not their job. Skip Bayless and, and, you know, those guys aren't paid to dissect football. You know, they're paid to be entertaining on TV and talk about it, you know, where for an analyst, it's a little bit different. You're paid to be entertaining and talk about it, but you also need to know football. A guy like Herb Street or a guy like, you know, Dan Orlowski, like they, they got to know ball. So I, I think that's the one thing I've seen is just like, you know, now that I, I'm outside of, you know, the the coaching or playing and I know the game the way I know it. And now I'm in media, I can see, you can tell pretty quickly if someone knows football or not, just from having a conversation with them about the game, you know, the things they pick up on uh, when they, you know, when they watch a game. And, and football, the reality is, People that are from that played football or coached it, they watch a game, they watch the game on TV a different way. Like a lot of people just watch the ball, right? <laughs> They're just like watching the ball. Like yeah. That's never, if you're trying to dissect a game, like I never watch the ball because you can tell by the flow of the play where the ball is going, right? So I always start with the defense, look at the safeties, work down to the defensive line. I normally watch the offensive defensive line. And in my, in my peripheral, peripheral vision, I can see the receivers and what they're doing. Um, and you can tell where the ball's going if you just if you just watch the the defensive players and and and, and, and the blocking scheme. I have a co- I have an old coach that used to always say the ball is a magnet, right? Everything is going to move where the ball is moving, so you can tell where it's going. So you don't need to watch the ball. So it allows me to watch the defensive line, how they're doing, what the linebackers doing, what routes are the receivers running, and just follow the ball as I see fit. And then after the play's over, I can see who it was running the ball. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's kind of backwards from how most fans watch the game is how most analysts watch the game. It's, it's very different.